been waiting all afternoon. This was the reaction from the scientists. Okay, so this uh, is a uh, live picture. That was uh, just a few moments ago. Um, they had uh, released a, a picture a little bit earlier on of the separation from the mothership Rosetta and the Philae spacecraft that had to go and try and land on Comet 67P. Robert Nisbet is at the European Space Agency in the German city of Darmstadt. Looks as though it's gone according to plan. Absolutely. These are extraordinary scenes, aren't they? It was fairly muted this morning uh, when they first realized that separation had happened, uh, that this mini spacecraft had left the orbiter and was heading towards the comet. Uh, but progressively throughout the day, as each hurdle, arguably a higher hurdle, has been cleared, they've been more and more demonstrative. And that was an absolute cry of joy. Uh, you saw Paolo Ferri, who is the mission director, who has a lot riding on this, obviously. Uh, leaping up, punching the air and hugging his, uh, his colleagues. It means, in effect, that that dishwasher-sized spacecraft that was flung uh, at this spinning comet has landed. Now, where it has landed, whether it's landed on uh, clear ground, which is what they wanted, or, or rocky, slightly more difficult terrain for it to anchor itself to, we're going to have to wait for more data to come back. But, in effect, what has happened now is the spacecraft has landed on the comet, it's sending information back to the orbiter, and the orbiter is sending that information 300 million miles back to here in Germany and we've got that confirmation now.